Well, uh, a couple of years ago, I was up in Vancouver to get something called the Lifetime Achievement Award. And somebody got up, oh, the man who got it last year. He got up and said, uh, you know, the fact of the matter is that Ian McCarg is a titular father of GIS. <laughs> of course, I have no uh, role in paternity of this thought at all. But the fact of the matter is I didn't, I don't think, invent GIS. But what I did do was I discovered overlays. Why? <laughs> because I was required to teach the environment, and I found to my astonishment, nobody knew what the environment was. And so uh, I, uh, given the responsibility I had to teach young people about this from all the ends of the earth, I then decided that the way to teach would be to make a composite, composite teacher. And so I got a million dollars from Ford, and I bought myself a meteorologist and a geologist and geomorphologist, hydrologist, soil scientist, plant ecologist, animal ecologist, and then I got another million from the National Institute of Mental Health, and I had an ethologist, ethnographer, cultural anthropologist, epidemiologist. There I was. At last, <laughs> we are capable of actually dealing with the environment because no single person could do it. But these composite people, if they could learn to work together, could. But then the question is, how could they work together? And I had uh, gone to Harvard, of course, where I had three degrees, which are no substitute for an education. And I was probably the only, <laughs> I was the only innocent and ignorant among all these scientists. But I realized that there was one device by which uh, the disparate uh, insights of all these incredible people could be made causal and, and uh, consequential. I discovered chronology. What an extraordinary discovery because every study we don't do anywhere really has to involve a recapitulation and discover that this utilization of chronology using time as a unifying rubric was very, very efficacious. And so I started off by asking the people with the oldest evidence, geologists, to tell us about the geological history of the area under study. And then <clears throat> the geologist reasonably said, you know, I can't do this alone. I need help from meteorology. So geology and meteorology <laughs> were able to develop the evolution to a point where you could reinterpret their data to reveal groundwater hydrology, reveal the same data to reveal geomorphology, reveal the same data to explain superficial hydrology, at which point, of course, you're well on the way to understanding soils, which leads you to the possibility of identifying environments and seeing them populated by the appropriate plants and also by appropriate, by appropriate organisms. Ah. The lights are not on, Jack. You know, I can't see the whites of anybody's eye. You could be dead for all I know. It's a nobody.